The final week of CRL West was filled with epic plays and tragic upsets. The competition was as fierce as ever, and today we are going to highlight the top five plays of week six. Our first play today showcases what happens when a player that has nothing left to lose plays a really fun deck. Wings is using an amazing giant deck with elite barbarians. This might be the first time elite barbarians have ever won a match in competition, and at CRL West. Wings uses his elite barbarians in the most efficient way in this play. Wings uses them on defense to take care of the ice golem and musketeer, and then counter pushes. This play puts Wings and Azili's neck and neck in tower damage. It is ultimately an extremely close match, but Wings dominates in the end, using the most polarizing card in Clash Royale. Our next play features Frost, that also had nothing to lose, versus Wen, who had the playoffs at stake. Pain Gaming would still be able to make playoffs if they had lost SK Gaming, but only if they had won against Dignitas. Everyone assumed that Pain Gaming facing Dignitas was an automatic win for Pain Gaming. Frost proved everyone wrong, however, and after an amazing back and forth in King of the Hill, clutches the victory. Frost plays a battle ram at the bridge, and Wen responds accordingly with his defense. Frost, without missing a single beat, uses the power of geometry to snipe the minions and at the same time deals more damage to the princess tower than a rocket. Thanks to his awesome play, Frost wins the match by a sliver of damage. Our next play is another upset, but this time it's on the actual day of playoffs. Complexity had fought their way through the gauntlet and only needed one more win to go to the World Cyber Games in China. Immortals, however, showed their dominance and ended Complexity's WCG dreams. Royal finishes off his King of the Hill sweep by beating Adrian Piedra. In this match, I want to showcase Royal's nail-biting snowball plays. Each time it looks like Adrian Piedra's balloon is just about to connect, Royal plays his snowball at literally the very last moment. It's amazing to see him do it with such precision each and every time. Thanks to his awesome plays, Royal is able to win the match and send his team to play at the World Cyber Games. The next play we're going to highlight is between Buffmack of Team Liquid against Lapokati of Immortals. Buffmack played so well at playoffs, he reverse sweeps Immortals for the decisive 2-0 win and then wins two straight matches against Sergio Ramos. In this match, we see the return of the Magic Archer. Buffmack forces out a defensive mortar from Lapokati, and then like the pro he is, instantly places the perfect Magic Archer to dominate Lapokati. And our top play of week six might be the most insane play of all Clash Royale competitive history. Javi is trailing behind Air Surfer by a ton of damage. His Mega Knight is hard countered by Air Surfer's P.E.K.K.A. In this moment, as his Mega Knight and Inferno Dragon approach the bridge, he sees an opportunity. Air Surfer played his P.E.K.K.A. in the back, and Javi drops the most clutch Miner, really showcasing what makes the Miner's unique ability to appear anywhere on the map so powerful. Javi is able to kite Air Surfer's P.E.K.K.A. to the other side of the arena, completely removing it from the action. Because of this play, Air Surfer just doesn't have the right answers to deal with Javi's push. Javi clutches out the win with extreme style with what might be the most epic play of all CRL West. The final week of CRL West was truly some of the best competitive Clash Royale ever. There were so many epic plays that could have made this list. I for one am so excited for these teams to return next split for even more intense matches. Check out week 6 of CRL West if you haven't already, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the amazing CRL West action. We'll see you next time.